When we were ready to record our next album, Animalize, we started searching for another guitar player. Although to say we is a bit of an exaggeration. Gene had basically disappeared by that point, too. While Creatures had been a band effort and Gene had participated in Lick It Up, I felt abandoned when it came time to make Animalize. After informing me without any warning or discussion that he wouldn't be around for the album, Gene went into a studio and crapped out some demos as fast as he could. Then he was off to do a movie. He left me with a pile of mostly unusable junk. Great. A guitar maker named Grover Jackson had put me in touch with a goofy, oversized guy named Mark Norton. Mark wasn't the sharpest pencil in the pack, but he played in the style that had then become popular. Eddie Van Halen had completely changed the game by this point, and everybody wanted to be fast and flashy, tapping, playing with two hands and their nose if you let them. Mark, who called himself Mark St. John, everybody was Saint something or other in the 80s, proved somewhat difficult to work with too, though for different reasons than Vinny. One afternoon I told him, come in tomorrow with a solo for this song. He came in and played it the next day. It was pretty good. Cool, I said. Now play it again. He played a completely different thing. What? He said. I can't play the same thing twice. That's how this is done, I said. Another time I said to him, you know, sometimes it's not about what you play, it's about what you don't play. Listen to Jimmy Page. Listen to Paul Kossoff. Listen to Eric Clapton. I can play faster than those guys, scoffed Mark. Houston, we have a problem. After we shot the cover photos showcasing Mark, he came down with a rare arthritic condition. It often affects people's knees, but in Mark's case, it struck his hand. If you're going to have one part of your body swell, it shouldn't be your hand. Mark couldn't move his fingers. My doctor says it will go away in two weeks, he told us. I called him every day. Any better? No. Finally, we had to go out and tour. Animalize came out in September 1984 and kept the momentum going, selling even better than Lick It Up. I called Bruce Kulick, whom I'd met through his brother, Bob, and who had played a solo on one of the tracks of Animalize. I asked him whether he could tour with us for a few weeks as a stand-in for Mark. He agreed. We traveled for quite a while with Bruce playing on stage each night and Mark hanging out backstage. We kept thinking he would wake up the next day and be able to play again. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Mark never played a single show on that tour, and finally we let him go, and Bruce became the permanent guitar player. <laughs> 